Welcome to Ferret Survival Guide. Today we'll be going over ferret proofing. Ferrets love to explore and are very flexible. This means there's a lot of things in your house that they'll want to get into. It's up to you to offer a safe place for them where they can't get into trouble. A good rule of thumb is, if your ferret's head can fit into it, or you can fit two fingers, your ferret can fit in. Many people open up their whole house to their ferrets. Here are some common situations that need some ferret proofing. Your couch. If you can take the legs off, this is the easiest fix to keep your ferrets out from under there. But they will still want to know what's on the inside of the couch and may burrow under the seats. You can staple soft vinyl, jean material, or other scratch proof material under the cushions to keep them from digging through. It's lots of work, but your couch will still look the same in the end. Alternately, some ferrets are deterred just with a couch cover. Here we were unable to take the legs off, so we nailed a piece of wood to the bottom side of the couch. Then we wood stapled the couch cover to the wood under the couch. Now they can't get into the couch from the top or the bottom. If the space between a door and the floor is too big, some ferrets can fit under the door. A draft stopper can be perfect in these situations. There's some that don't need any installation in case you rent. Do not use a pool noodle. They can scratch it up, and some ferrets have swallowed pieces of the pool noodle, resulting in a blockage and expensive vet visits. Alternately, you can use a baby gate. Even flow is what we're using here, reinforced with a cardboard box it came in, and some soft vinyl zip tied all together. The rubber bumpers fit up nicely on door frames or walls, so there's no damage with use. So now your ferret can't get into another room. They know something is behind the door and will dig non-stop to get through. You can use plastic carpet protector, custom cut scrap carpet, or a rug to keep them from ruining the floor. Putting a rug down in a corner they like to poo in, but you just can't put a potty pad or litter box is another great way to use rugs. Alternately, you can turn the corner into a sleep spot. Just make sure that they do have a potty place close by. Ferrets won't want to go all the way back to the cage just to go potty. Some ferrets will learn how to open up your cabinets. You can use any child locks for these. If they're double doors, you can DIY with a collar, hair tie, or anything else that ties together. Or, just put something heavy in front of it. Sometimes you can't keep them out of your kitchen or laundry area due to an open floor plan. In this situation, something as simple as a roll-up towel can work perfectly. With the oven, a piece of wood and some double-sided tape can do wonders. The heavy-duty tape, not the thin scotch tape. Try it in other places, too. And as always, some tape and cardboard can do the trick if all else fails. Check under the cabinets. Some places have holes left open, which can mean a fun adventure for your ferrets and a heart attack for you. Attaching a piece of wood with double-sided tape, or covering it with good old duct tape or gorilla tape can solve this issue. Dressers with open spaces beneath them can be a challenge. Here we flip the dresser on its side and nail down a thin piece of wood on the underside. Keeping your ferrets out of your shoes is a big one. Either have a dresser designated for shoes, or find another way to keep them out of the ferrets reach. 
Hooks on the wall are perfect for keeping cords up and off the floor. Or you can run wires through a small PVC pipe. Can your ferrets figure out how to get into the trash? Make it taller! If all else fails, you can fill a small squirt bottle with either white distilled vinegar or lemon juice and spray it on the area that they're interested in. Not on the ferret themselves, though. These two are safe deterrents, unlike bitter apple spray, which can cause damage from inhaling it or dangerous loss of appetite. One thing we didn't cover is air vents. Please make sure all your air vents are covered and secured. Many people have lost their ferrets permanently this way. Thank you for watching. We have a new group on Facebook if you'd like to join us there. Till next time.